I'm Roy from Roy's Garage. Today I'm going to be working on a 2005 Toyota RAV4 2.4 liter automatic. Car came in, check engine light is on, engine is idling really rough and no power. So first thing we're going to do is scan the computer system. So now I'm going to be hooking up my scan tool to the OBD2 connector. It's right under here. So we're going to be turning on the engine two clicks to the on position. Okay, there's a whole bunch of codes that popped up, but we're going to be concentrating on the misfire, the first code, P0303. Cylinder 3 misfire detected. The other codes possibly could could be linked to this one problem. So first the most common problem is number three, ignition coil is bad. That's, that's the most common. So we're gonna try change number three, ignition coil. These are the tools I'm gonna to be using today to do this job. My scan tool, 3 8 ratchet, 3 8 extension, 5 8 spark plug socket, quarter inch ratchet, quarter inch extension, another quarter inch extension, 10 millimeter socket one small flat tip screwdriver dielectric grease and anti-seize these are the parts i'm going to be using today to do this job four denso spark plugs and four denso ignition coils okay so first i'm going to be removing this front half of the air filter So first, we're going to be replacing number three coil pack and we'll see how it runs. Okay, so we're going to be removing this electrical connector. Push this pin down and sometimes with a little small screwdriver, you got to lift this up a little and just pull it out. Then remove this 10 millimeter bolt. guy out so I'm gonna be putting in my new coil connecting my wire to the coil and just shove it in all the way you don't have to bolt it up because we're gonna test it so now I'm going to be putting back my air cleaner. I'm going to be starting up my vehicle. Now it's running really smooth. Yeah, that was the problem, the number three coil. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna re be replacing all four coils and all four spark plugs. Okay, so I'm gonna be removing this air filter again. In order to remove the number four coil, I gotta remove this bracket. So in order to remove this bracket, I gotta remove the back half of the air cleaner. So first I'm going to be removing this connector that goes to the mass air flow. Remove this hose and remove this air intake and these two bolts. In this bracket okay so we're gonna be removing all these coils
So I'm gonna be removing the spark plug So this is the new spark plug I'm going to be installing. First I'm going to be putting on some dielectric on the porcelain part of the plug. Putting it into my spark plug socket. Putting on some anti-seize on my threads. So I'll be screwing it in. So I'm going to be putting in my coil, but first I'm going to put some dielectric grease right in here. Putting some anti-seize around my bolt. Put some dielectric grease on my electrical connector and plugging it in. So we're going to be putting back the air cleaner. So I'm going to be putting on this bracket. Put a little anti-seize on the bolt. Tightening my air intake. Putting on this vacuum hose. Putting on this electrical connector. So I'm putting on some dielectric grease. Putting my air filter back in. Okay, so we're going to start up the vehicle. Seems like it's running really good. So now I'm going to reset the check engine light and road test the vehicle. So I resetted the check engine light and I road tested the vehicle. Now the vehicle runs good. So that's how you repair an engine miss. If you have any questions, comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and I see you in the next video. Aloha.